In this question, we're asked to integrate x sine 4x with respect to x. And we're going to use integration by parts. And just as a little reminder, the rule to use is over here on the right hand side. Now, the first thing I need to do when deciding to use integration by parts is to decide which part will be u and which part will be dv by dx. So which part am I going to differentiate and which am I going to integrate? Now the way to do it is to decide on if I differentiate this, does it become simpler? And yes, it does. So we say let u equal x. And when I differentiate that, du by dx, well, that is equal to 1. Then dv by dx, that will equal sine of 4x. Now when we integrate that to get v, that will be negative 1 quarter cos of 4x. So now what I want to do is to plug these in to this rule over here. So we've got the integral of x sine of 4x with respect to x is equal to. That's equal to u multiplied by v. So u is x multiplied by this here. That would be negative x over 4 cos of 4x minus the integral of v times du by dx. So v times du by dx, well, we're just going to end up with this here. Now this negative, we can simplify with this negative, which will become positive. The quarter, I can bring it outside the integral, and therefore we have cos 4x with respect to x. So I have negative x over 4 cos of 4x. Um, when I integrate cos 4x, I will actually get 1 quarter sine 4x. And the 1 quarter and this 1 quarter will give me 1 over 16. So I've got the 1 over 16. And again, when I integrate this, it will become sine of 4x. And then all I need is the constant of integration.